Hey guys, so this is something a bit different. So I'm trying these Reddit reads types of things. So basically, I'm just going to read some Reddit stories, and I'm going to start with r slash entitled parents. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't know how this is go going to go down. It could go down horribly. It could go perfectly. Who knows? It could be, it could be whatever. So let's get started with our first story. This story is called, Homophobic Mom Yells at Me for Going on a Date. Backstory. I'm bi and I meet this guy at my school. We hung out and, and went on a date aid at the country fair. We were literally just holding hands and this lady goes, Ugh, stupid homos. Excuse me? I said have a good day. I didn't know, I, I know she didn't say this, but I didn't want to start anything. This goes on and on with her saying homophobic slurs when, when she walks by. About three hours of this goes on. We want to go on rides, and she he would say, Homos don't deserve to ride. I'm straight. I should go before you. After a while, the guy was with dumped a soda on her because we, we had enough. She called security, but they did nothing. We start to leave, and this woman has the audacity to say, You idiots are going to hell. See you there, idiot. The rest of the night was fun. I don't really have any words for this, other than the fact that this one was short and really didn't have to ooh much, uh, much to say. It was a nice story though. You're my child. I have the right to poison you. I'm allergic to fish slash seafood. It's not the in anaphilic type of allergy, thank goodness, so I'm not going to die if I eat some, but I do throw up. I have a stomach ache and a massive head dates headache for a few hours. Enough fish slash seafood and I break out, out in small red hives over my arms. My mother didn't believe it and as a child I couldn't stand up to her properly. She'd force me to eat stuff with seafood or, or fish in it, it to prove I wasn't allergic then ignore me as I was sick. One day she held a dinner party. I was dressed up beautifully and trotted out to, to parade before the guests. At the time I was about nine. Precious for my age and absolutely fed up with my mother, mother making me sick. When she held out a fish cutlet, fish cooked with vegetables rolled into a ball covered in batter and fried for me to eat, I saw my chance. Me, loudly. I can't eat that. I'm allergic to fish. Mother, no, you're not. Eat it. I am allergic. I'll throw up. No Asian mother will back down in front of guests for fear of looking like she can't discipline her child. My mother grabbed the fish cutlet, shoved it in my mouth, and said in her first firm voice of command, Eat! So I ate it. Cut to about ten minutes later. I go up to my mother and tug on her, her, her sorry, I have no idea what that words mean, word is, to get attention. Me, I don't feel bleh. I vomited on her on the expensive carpet and in full view of all the guests. My mother has a reputation for being a kind, generous, and charitable and very religious woman. So in front of all the guests, she couldn't do anything except act sympathetic and send me off to bed to recover. Man, is that one story. It's bad enough having some random stranger not believe that you actually have an allergy, but your own mother? I feel bad for you on um, this one, OP. My son should be allowed to join your band. Okay, so this happened just about a week ago, and I'm still astonished about it. Here's the key. EM is entitled mother, S is son, F1 to 3 is friends 1 to 3, M is me, and G is cop. So me and my friends have a band, and about a week ago, we were going to gig in a pub in the city center. This was a relatively small gig, so no worries about the crowd. We were setting up up about out an hour beforehand when a mother and her son approached us. The son was no older than 13 and he, he was surprisingly a pretty cool kid. It was just his mother that was the problem. Hello, I was just wondering if you could let my son join your little band. He has been practicing on his guitar for quite a long time. Me, my friends, and the son all looked a bit confused. I thought she was joking for a few seconds, but the look on her face was dead serious. I'm sorry? I said, could you let my son here join your band? Um, no. Look, I'm sorry. We don't need any more people in the band. Even if we did, your son is way too young to be in it. 
No, I think you might have understood. My son needs to be part of your band. No, he can't. The son was starting to look as annoyed as us. You're all tameless idiots who will never get anywhere in life anyway. At least give him your worthless guitar. This particular guitar, my guitar, cost over 700 euros. I think that's euros. I could have immediately messed that up. So she was not having that. She grabbed it anyways. Where are you going with that? Giving it to my son, who actually has talent and will get somewhere in life. Jesus, give it back to him, Mom. No, you deserve it more than he ever will. Luckily, there was a few police nearby who saw the situation, and they ran up to her and said, Is this your guitar, miss? Yes, yes it is. And I ran up behind her and said, No, no it's not. Miss, I saw you steal this guitar from him. Ian pushes the guitar into my hands and runs for it. The son quickly apologizes and runs to catch her. The cop officers placed to place charges but I was like nah I come back and <laughs> had a decent show why are people like this honestly I asked myself the same question OP I really don't, don't know why people are like this some people might I'd, I'd say hey it's just greed and I hope it is and to end off this episode let's look at one of the R slash entitled parent memes shall we Steal a Nintendo Switch and have security come. Tell them it's my son's Nintendo and say the dude assaulted her. Forget about the witnesses on CCTVs. Wait. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to let me know in the comments as this is a new thing and I'm hoping that this is something that you guys like because I really like making this kind of content. I've always watched these re Reddit reading videos on YouTube and I always wondered, hmm, I wonder if I'd be successful at that. And while I'm not uh, like some best voice actor of 2019 or anything like that, I just hope that, that you guys like this so I can make more of this stuff. Thanks for watching and peace out.